Alright. <clears throat> Alright, I, I pinned I pinned the the video you sent me last night. So that, that we saw. We need to watch that honestly. That Yeah, excuse me. I don't <laughs> Yes. All right, here we go. There better be ga there better be uh, fucking. W w there better be commentary in this video. This tweet. <laughs> it's so fucking horrible. This tweet is basically gonna cover some characters I really like. Gonna add more when I think of more. Any black lolly. Ugh. Connie Maheshwar in Steven Universe. J Jaden Animations. Young and Adult. Jaden Animations is mo- <laughs> That one is the best. Young and Adult is, is terrifying. <laughs> Jaden, Jaden Animations is mom. <laughs> <laughs> Young Gwen bent <laughs> Violet Parts Incredibles Eri Chizaki My Hero Academia Judy Hopps Zootopia Girlfriend Friday Night Funkin <laughs> This is the worst fucking tweet <laughs> Thank you Pedo Mommy Yeah yeah that that I was wondering that <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Let's watch. Let's watch Logan now. Let's stop talking about a pedophile. <laughs> All right, let's watch Logan. Let's fucking go. No, I don't care. Just go. <laughs> oh, you're using the mic. I, I don't care. care. Just go. I don't fucking. I'm gonna die. Anyway. Well, I don't care. Okay, so does he talk in SA during casual conversation? We need to know. I'm just gonna run over everything. I'm just gonna run over everything. See, you can see this kill cam right here. That's that's the definition of of camping right there. I'm the roadrunner. Oh my god. By the way, with this particular set, you do have unlimited sound. This is all live before watching this. Yes! Look, Look at me, guys! Did you actually kill someone? someone? I don't know. Oh, oh my god, god I'm again? again? Yes. Wait, is he calling oh, himself man, War he Hero? Like, we have, we have his friend's name uh, on the top. On the top. But and is, well, what's the one on the bottom? Match. War Hero. Like, like, I'm, I'm, I'm right behind you. you. <laughs> This hurts in a different way than the rest of his content. This is just not fun. Or, this is not anything. This is so stupid, it's so funny. In this game, if you stop, you die. If you run, you die a little bit less. There's a third person cam, I want to see that. Stupid. It's all I want, play what I want. Oh, that was dumb. What does the sign say? Oh, fuck! Just leave this guy, you know, he gets the idea. Hey! Hey! I'm looking at his ass. I'm doing what I want. You ever stop him without this guy? A couple of hits? Are you fucking hits? Why is his friend more entertaining than he is? To kill you even though, you swear to God, you unloaded like 10 in the back. I'm just gonna hang out right here. I look funny on the kill cams. Hey, that's me! You're gonna remember me! 
All yeah. of the strat, yo. Yeah. So so <laughs> Pro tip, <laughs> enjoy. Uh, holy shit, that was a jump scare. <laughs> Shame jump scare. Yeah. <laughs> we need to look for more, like, readings from Fopplesman. He needs to read more creepy pastas to us. Top 30 copy abilities. Top 10 worst video game cliches. Let's go. <laughs> Why was there Five Nights at Freddy's 2? <laughs> Not just add that. Was that always what it was always there? <laughs> You've watched this before. <laughs> so many video games and so many ideas up for grabs. The probability of running into similar results is disturbingly right, well. high. Some ideas are immensely favored, and you can never keep mistakes out of the mess. Out of inspiration or just. Failed experimentation, in come the trends that get all the cuts. The obvious bad name for that being cliché. A lot of others have already expressed hatred for their own worst. Time to throw the headgear in the ring, I suppose. Out of respect, my choices are almost entirely disjointed from theirs. So chances are, you're gonna find something new to spit on. It could be design elements, recurring mistakes, or something that was meant to work on paper, but never did. Anything is up for slaughter. Let's ride. You know what I fucking hate? Being told to shut up. And actually, I'm pretty sure nobody likes that. Especially when you're having some particularly <laughs> alone time with your game. It's the last bit of crap. That's funny coming from the guy who I would tell now not tell to shut up. Party! Shut up! You shut up! Oh, great. Stuff missions are like that one extra crouchy guy at the retirement home. Back in my day, our bitches knew how to shut up. Look, I came here to visit you. I would assume it's appreciated, but no, okay. I want to give this guy a wedgie so bad. Holy shit. Can events play out? Can perform slow enough to provide salsa, bitch and salsa, or make a slop out of itself. So, when your game throws in these tall glasses of shut the fuck up, chances are your chips are going to taste as good as packing peanuts. Escort missions may be as fun as marathoning Shepherd Chapel while kissing a bear trap, but be thankful they still retain familiar semblance. It's not like they're deliberately forcing you to adjust to half the normal pace, Meanwhile, sneaking past enemies, you damn well know you can just massacre. Oh, but violence isn't the only answer. Aw, oh, damn, that didn't work. Maybe I should have snuck past him. I'm not buying it, honey. Because nothing screams fun like filling for Burger King. Also, what is it with these segments and making stupid enemies even stupider? Not only does it seem like they're completely deaf, my bullshit sensors are detecting an unrealistic lack of peripheral vision. How can you not see me? Fuck. Oh, pardon me. Fuck. When it comes to weapons in video games, it seems whatever shit you run out of the theater, that will be sucked out of our killing toys. But the punchline is, your weapons either gonna suck, or overwhelm. In other words, we got the useless and overpowered weapons. This Gen 5 filter is a problem for many reasons. If a weapon's strength is that of a baby flick, then it's gonna be seen as useless or shitty, resulting in its own detriment, killing any sense of very viability. Same goes for the weapons or fighters that seem way too powerful in comparison. Generally, because of the crazy rap, you're gonna find far more people using those for optimal performance, which stirs up controversy in the player base, or 
very stagnant the experience for some beyond what was intended. Whether community-driven or offline campaign, it's a salt factor. I'm like falling asleep right now. Things like enough to have an active metagame don't usually have this problem. Thank Christ. It's not as big a deal there, but it kind of wears on you to see the same character. I mean, I am tired, but also this is just so fucking stupid. Stupid boring. Nobody gives a shit. But something more simplistic is where the problem pokes out for me. Nine, Nine times out of ten, you're, you're gonna come across, across an obvious mesh and an obvious work. Wait, deal. what? Tears are for queers. What? Nobody gives a shit. But <laughs> something more simplistic is what the That's so fucking out. horrible. Nine times out of ten, you're gonna come across an obvious best and an obvious worse. Take a guess how the rust plays out. Nobody's gonna use the stupid ice flower with the penguin suit as a straight upgrade. Steve's gonna have to stay home because the purple Pikmin ate way too much broken. And nobody races better than a clock. TT makes you TT. Even when the stronger weapons or characters are still fun to use, I don't like them playing the game for me. Or making the other options look like shit. You just feel dirty. Such a case of Contra Spreader, Mega Man's Metal Blades, Buck Bumble's EMP, and it's the Golden Gun. That's true, but too. I think it's just the fact that you can find it in a level that makes it a bad thing. Because you can just go back and get it at any point. Just like the ice flower, so then why wouldn't we do that? Right? Story wants to say, You're just ignore me. Making them playable kind of fuck that. I think the way NSNBU did it was better, where it was like only available in uh, so World Star don't toy houses. Kind of matter less. That's kind of cool. If they can't choke a bitch, win over the patrons with their <laughs> face, or just being there to say, Thanks for playing our awesome game. Where's my check? What are the others left to do? Nothing at all. Worthless NPCs are kind of like that one guy you know that just makes everything worse. Look, I'm sure you're a nice guy. You bought a nice Prius, not gonna say go die, but fuck! Can you kindly take a week around that and the world up to nothing? You are useless. NPC. Uh, Isn't every NPC technically useless though? Like, I don't know. If I mean, if they're not relevant to the plot, then I guess. But trouble. Whether they ask for stupid shit they're too lazy to do themselves, waste your time with dialogue that's boring or hardly useful, or just exist to be the countrywide potholes on your road to fulfillment. You taste my drift. I know NPCs are there for an additional sense of yeah. I don't know that. But be fine, but at least make them worth my time. Have them be funny, a fleshed out figure, or better yet, keep their shit out of my business. Though who funny is subjective, you fucking moron. Pretty much. And yeah, any sized part of me would hate to see it go. But the other 99% kind of wants owls extinct. Games like Majora's Mask and the Star Fox series make me appreciate their use of NPCs. But games like Conquer, X5, and Animal Crossing. Kinda wanna make me snuggle a rancor. What? You know Animal what? Crossing? Yeah, sounds good to me. That that doesn't have a what that doesn't that have progression. Have the whole point of it is talking to fuck. It's hard to know what is what is this man spinning? Get good. We ain't part of your DBC fanfic. Cause mine's better. We only have so much to see and live out. So we as puny mortals have universal worries. One of the biggest thing breathing. We kinda need to do it. Oh, he's going to complain about water water sections. Segments that limit your air supply bug oh. the crap out of me. Hell, it's the one mechanic I can take away from water levels that thoroughly pisses me off. Having to breathe means that you only have so much freedom while going through these portions. Oh, this level is so pretty. You're about to die. Aww. Yeah, it's quite the disappointment. It's you can collect coins, dude. There are coins. Just get the fucking coins. But slipping something in that thoroughly makes the player dread even stepping in there is like discontinuing the repellent. So, okay. Give me a moment to understand. You're hitting us with an area clouded in altered physics, which has no learning curve, and you don't have the goddamn courtesy to even ease us in and just snort your fucking backwater. What's that? <laughs> Too busy counting my money. Ugh. 
Thank this not only for the pointless splash of realism, but also for how counterproductive it really is. Water levels and those areas with toxic air often come out of nowhere. So the player needs some kind of proper conveyance for your little team to have a chance of being enjoyed by them. What are you talking about? How do you prepare them for water? Or like... You have to launch his gas, like, if I wanted to drown, I need Danny James Cameron. Fuck it, I'm gonna fish for I think so too. Gotta love the phrase, I'm surrounded by it. It's like an So true, so true. Not just the outside world. The dumbass three finds its way into the idiot bunker one way or another. One of them being that $60 purchase you totally didn't work towards. One of them, dumbass AI, is yeah. like catching sight of Bigfoot that takes the guy out of me wearing a fedora. It's a sight so special, so magically delicious, you think it was a candy coat blessing from the gods of love. Dumbass AI just feels like a perfect way to describe this man. Why does this why does this part of the list just feel like waffles been you guys let loose all it's literally just your enemies not seeing the whole two inches away or any number of the shit that flies at a Mario party, there's always gonna be that moment where we let out a collective you fucking dumbass. I mean, come <laughs> on! Is it really that hard to keep your virtual brain cells off Shalom's wild ride of adventures and instead in the mainframe? Of course it is! It's hard work! Hard workers get cookies and manis! That's stuff you want! Letting Luigi win for doing jack shit! Or taking the piss to give us another terrible escort mission, which is only terrible due to the escort team being the third blockhead, kinda makes me miss those 320s you're now leading. Some claim that it's pretty funny to see the game shag itself. And I'm catering that party, but it's also subject to being both frustrating and just fucking stupid. In scenarios where the AI is actually sided with you, well, yeah, but I don't think that's supposed to be considered like a gameplay design, it's a gameplay flaw, I think. Oh, or even a God. bug, maybe, I don't what know. What the fuck are you doing? Like, testing I don't know. It's your destiny! Oh god, I get it, shit happens, but it happens so often in so many games that sometimes it honestly feels like it was put in as a collective joke. <laughs> no, Donkey Dick just randomly dueled me for two coins. I've seen all the jokes by now. <laughs> He's doing the, he's doing the, he's doing the, he's doing, he did, he was doing that, he's doing the that. If you're a writer, common computer user, or community call it plagiarist, you'd be real sad with the term Did you see that? copy-pasting. Whether you've got to move something out of the organization, quote something else for gossip, or posting spam, there's a reason why it's such a commonly used Game designers like it too. I'd like to make something clear here. Just because Holy shit, Fawful's Minion's gonna finally talk about greedier mode. Any random design, that doesn't mean I automatically like seeing it again. Copy pasting is the term used to describe the act of taking something already done up and reusing it. Got a popular item? Reskin it. Really good or hyped fighter? Jingle fat him. Fan favorite or important level? Slipping in a seven. Fine. You rainbow, can't. all of the rainbow you roads are so distinct wrong. enough, you fucking moron. Like, the rainbow roads are all great in their own ways just because the rainbow road doesn't change. And I'm pretty sure everybody looks at it funny. If it's kept to a minimum and used in moderation, it really isn't all like yeah. that. But the more you use it, the more it bothers you. Almost every successful juggernaut franchise has done this at least once, and it varies from dev to dev. Whether it's new Super Mario Brothers with its music, Pokemon First Gen with its shared Pokemon cries, or most RPGs with the enemies, it's fucking everywhere! Much like a great school dropout brother, it's a shade of lazy, except this is deliberate! It's either used when you reach the cap of creativity, or budget, or for some really uncomfortable padding near the end. But hey, that means more content, right? I can play this game too. Better! Who's the executive producer of these games? The Sonic fan base? Oh shit, that slipped out. Once you sparingly in games like TF2 or the Mario series, it's fine. But when abused in a game like Sonic Heroes and fucking Melee, it gets to be really tacky. Ugh, we complain about Dark Pit. 
when the health page at the top of the screen becomes He's going to complain about the You die. Press A button while in midair to glide. But you already knew that. Full circle on the analog thumb pad plus B button. There are three master Stop. Tutorials suck. Yeah, I'm sticking the entire idea on here. Because the amount of times I'm subjected to the same. Monday, jumping this flaming coat in a salmon suit. Shit. Get me to the 6 p.m. news. File over national crisis and give me the fucking mic. Breathe. A lot of the time, gamers generally don't know what you are. Could be an alien. Could be a monkey. Could be a Canadian. The Koran. Yes. What are you guys? I don't know. What does that mean? Complex human brain. I so can't remember. Oh fuck, this thing's, thing's worthless. Look, Look I'm serious. serious. Stop spoon feeding. Sure, yes, it's important for a player to understand the ins and outs. But all our life is about learning. If you take away, I think he's just complaining about reusing like, of us like are gonna feel this constant tutorials. What kids are playing our game? Shouldn't be any different. Which is like fair, but I don't know. It's all also at the same time it's Bakker's minions. So. Doing. Not it's also not understandable. It. And if you're going at it there just in case, case the player wants it told to them, keep it in a fucking training mode. Consumers are the reason you keep that house. Respect them. I need your super guys as much as I need herpes. Even games as amazing as the three What? Guys, knock it off. You should know this is stupid. Unless you're my lover, hands off. Okay, thanks. Bye. Did he say it unless you're my lover hands off? <laughs> Go back to that. Go back to that. The entire concept of tutorials. Bad. Yeah, all of them. All of them suck, honestly. Yeah, just <laughs> get rid of all of them. <laughs> So, yeah, honestly, that Isaac fucking sucks. I don't even know why I play it. Like, those, that first room with the, like, the drawings. <laughs> I think it's fair to want something more subtle, but he's just, like, ragging on tutorials as a concept, and it's fucking dumb. You can, and, and a lot of people don't do that, I think, and I, I, I think that's what he's complaining about, but at the same time, it's like, it doesn't come off as clear. Yeah. This is stupid. Unless you're my lover, hands off. Okay, thanks, bye. Like with weapon balancing, the other element that seems to resonate wildly between player to player is difficulty. <laughs> some like it hard, some like it soft. They'll wait the jokes down below. However, I'm pretty sure this is fact. Everyone some like it hard, some like it soft. Am I right on that? I hope so. Those wait, that like how do you how do you turn that into another board joke? Thing. And yeah, sounds ideal to me. Unfortunately, what, 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 some developers aren't fully sure how to keep it flowing. And throw it out of whack. Thus, we run into a difficulty spike. My top 10 kill threads kind of made this Difficulty spikes, oh. That is it the final sticks out so far that you can remember more than what's supposed to give us closure. You have a serious problem. This is yesterday's lesson, but... Hell is a yeah, this is this is a end. genuine flaw. It's the last thing we ever see in our game. It really should be the hardest, but when it surfaces too early, blood will be lost. Not only do these spikes and challenges overwhelm us in contrast to everything else, it frustrates the fuck out of us. If you've designed something that challenging, why don't you make it the final level? What's the point of placing it here? What, you figure this'll toughen us up? Oh yes, keep calm and wake up Hulk. Look, Ma, a pioneer! No, frankly, it's sloppy. If a hard level is put in just for the sake of having a hard level in there somewhere, you may be doing something wrong. Is it because of a hiccup? 
or is it intentional? Maybe they slip these in for the sake of notoriety. Yeah, they'll remember us for that. I won't need my high school diploma anymore. Not healthy. Not healthy, the fucking Come withered Bonnie jump scare. Oh, oh yes, I, I just got, got a brilliant idea. idea. <laughs> Sounds fun! Oh man, I hate this shit. Retreating enemies. Even though they live to be that one poor thing, we gotta kill after having this shitty day. What? Respect? Common what do you mean? For knowing what are you place. talking about? Thanks for trying to kill me. I promise I'll call. But then there are those special flowers. <laughs> Hard to get. Oh, I think he's talking Maybe about like enemies that run away. That. Nobody, Nobody give them the pussy out, out block, man. What, what are they doing? doing? We, we like, like to call them worthless. Yeah, yeah, enemies that just the run away. are meant for pursuit. We need figures to conquer over. Just like the big picture. It's pretty annoying to see that purpose haul its ass away from destiny. You gotta fill in the dock as creepy as It is annoying, I think that's the point though, bro. Like, you're, you're just kinda like feeding it. Like, you're just proving that it works. I have a real problem with this. Thousand Year Tour's amazing AC, and especially Dream Team's gold beanie, are liable for my pain and suffering charges. There's nothing more heartbreaking as a game. I think it's understandable that you can do something like this wrong. Walk out on you! Wait, what? He said. Wait. Okay. Fuck the music. Fuck you, roaming Pokemon. Fuck you. Thinking you're gonna book it now. You. You. Get your hoe ass back here, or Arceus help your face. I will talk about my feelings. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> you have a problem. I have nearly a dozen videos on this exact topic. On which you. What? Yo, alright. Let's keep going. Go back to before the thing began. We all right. There we go. There we go. Fuck you! Thinking you're gonna book it now? You, you, get your hoe ass back here, or Arceus help your face. I will talk about my feelings. <laughs> he will talk about his feelings, and he starts like we have a problem. venting about the king shame. Dozen videos on this. <laughs> All of which seem to share several of each other's choices, but none, none that I see highlight this final asshole trend. Did you guys just forget it existed, or am I the only one that hates it? Oh, I'm not letting this fucker slip by. Time limits. What? How many games have time limits? Lord, you can make me oh, God. I hate time limits. I fucking hate them. Let me ask you something. Do you play games for fun? If you answer yes, this carries further. Do you like having that enjoyment? Giving a set time frame? I'm getting mixed answers, I'm sure. I myself dis that. Going back to the idea of pacing, I don't know, I mean, it's not that bad, I guess. Speed and performance is dependent on the primary vessel, you. Events can play out differently with variables like longer levels or what the story has to say, which can make it appear flowing or sluggish depending on the player's influence. That's I guess it does feel kind of shitty when it's shoehorned in, but like, is he trying to tell me that Mario is... Is he trying to tell me that Super Mario Bros. is bad because it has a time limit? Time to do your thing. If the time runs out, you die. Why? What? Does putting this in add pressure? Yeah, he's kiss my ass. You're not yeah, he's complaining about Mario. This is making up an Yeah, tension without further context. An artificial challenge. I was. He had Mario. It's not. It's also not. We chose time limits. I can't possibly see this direction as admirable without proper setup, like what Majora's Mask, Pikmin, and Wario Land 4 did. Instead of pulling it out of your ass, if you want to challenge us with that shit on its own, tie it in with higher difficulty levels or a separate mode. Having it there, by default, is you telling me, fuck your pace. Our game controls you. 
I don't think so, Jack. Do not ever rush the player. This is being Fockle's meaning. Those are my gripes. <laughs> <laughs> Now he's just having a sweepy inside of his girlfriend's stomach. <laughs> Top 10 annoyances of videos. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it. <laughs> Holy shit, it's so loud. Oh my god. I almost went deaf because of Waffle's minion. Video games are our friends. Yeah, I know. We together, we laugh together, and we grow together. <laughs> this is Stockholm Syndrome, honestly. It's, it's like man on the internet. Love can never be genuine. If it's missing, love can never be genuine. That was so perfectly timed. It may feel like I'm treading dirty water. Didn't I kind of do this thing back in 2015? Well, yeah. He does. He does. Just another excuse to have that fury. These are the kind of things. He listened to the genocide route package and cried. That's not to say they're not justified, but the bottom line is that they pissed me off. Three rules this time. They pissed him off. The actions of the player base. No technical hiccups are allowed, and anything from 2015's top 10 worst cliches is a no no. You get it, so let's see it. Onward. Of the many languages out there, most remain detached from circumstance. Whilst we think the universe speaks, and the word fun is heard by all. The universal language. Video games epitomize the discovery of one's fun, and allows for so much freedom in your pursuit. So the last thing the adventurous gamer needs is confinement. Right, Mr. Auto Scroll Level? Prison is no fairy tale world. Hey boy, he's gonna complain about auto scroll. Start button. Oh, them shower boys might just kill you for that. Please do. I'd like to have a nice long chat with the fucker who first thought of this. Hazards within the ever fundamental course range greatly. Enemies, classic. The layout? Ah, excellent choice, good sir. And the screen? Who put you on the planet, Mr. Man? Pardon me. Oh, but can I maybe work my own legs? Nothing says me like some slow-ass camera panning. Auto-scrolling levels have one goal in life. To circumcise all understanding of the word pace. He is the word circumcised. Bullshit. You wouldn't even ask for as a joke. Rather than letting the remove the force. <laughs> shudder at the thought. These atrocious excuses for interactive joy in case the stage in some kind of psychic cage set to the speed of a tree down a predetermined conveyor. I guess it is fair when it's like slow as shit, but it doesn't need to be. Slow as shit, bro. Like, on your own, in terms of the pursuit of fun, I guess he's just the blind complaining about specific TV screen auto is an embarrassing way to go. Fuck! Every time I have to slog through yeah. this particular breed of shit fest just reminds me. What's the point of this? I've never played an auto scroll level and thought, man, I loved how I could stand still. Is it just to make things harder? Why would you stand still if you're playing a game, though? Like, that's not... I mean, I understand the freedom is nice, but like... Fucking what? They're literally no different than playing a normal level. You're still, like, moving constantly. It just feels a bit more sluggish because you're... Because, like, the game is pulling you. I guess. Which is, I guess, in and of itself flawed, but... Belonging to a no good, dirty, rotten, pig raping, cheap skate time waster. Oh, you motherfucker! Huh? 
ever bury any hatchet belonging to a no good, dirty, rotten, pig raping, cheap ski time waster. Oh, you motherfucker! Pig raping. Okay, it's official. It's gone all shit. Healing enemies. Now on Amazon, it is long gone. Let's go! Look. I may risk some face as I pick the gripes from this specific vine, but it's worth it. Enemies that heal themselves, or worse, more dangerous enemies, or evolutionarily adept at pissing us off. I, for an eye, suggest this to be fair game. I mean, we can heal. Actually, yeah. They be able to? Of course. Tis a necessary evil, but it's the evil I'm fighting with. All the hard work put towards the demise of your would-be foe multiplies the enjoyment, but the eventual HP restoration submerges that good time in an inescapable tsunami salt and many, many dropped F-bombs. It did. It absolutely did. With damage and idea that needed to be bubble-wrapped, it just subtracts from the challenge. I'm looking at you, Halo. It wastes your time. That's all it ever does. And as evidenced by medic, he's proposing to me through a YouTube a top ten video. Just top ten favorite things about you. <laughs> and then at the number one spot, he asks you to marry. <laughs> Hold on, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, alright. That's fine. <sighs> Fucking piece of shit! It's the gaming equivalent of sleep. In essence, something that steals precious time from us, and definitely something many of us would like to wish away. But we need it, you know. I want to rank this higher, but I'm already bordering on unpleasable jackass with this segment. This is the Amogus artist, isn't he? Fuck your couch. Ethan, with this ring, I take you to be my wedded husband. Wait, pause, pause the video so I can. Why can't they let us have night? <laughs> Why can't they let us have night? Uh, Ethan, with this ring, I take you to be my wedded husband. You are my best friend, and I cherish every day we spend together. Life dropped an epic husband, the rarest of its loot table, and I was lucky enough to win the need roll. We've had our ups and downs, but we've come through it all together, and there is nobody I would rather share my life with than you. I pledge to be faithful, patient, and supportive. I pledge to put your need before my greed and to brave life's toughest instances by your side. To love and respect you for the rest of my days. These things I promise you. Again. <laughs> that That is so far. That, I, I, yeah, I just pictured that in his voice and like, yeah. That's, that is, that is 100% him. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Holy shit. I, I can't even believe that we found someone who sounds like Fawful's minion. This man is an enigma. Nice things. Off screen lives regarded as quite the stingy douche, says all the faces. Sage wisdom indeed. Stuff you earn, IRL, comes wearing the dreaded warning label. Caution, might break. And a complimentary fuck you. I don't know. Not imitate the light this time. Yeah, right. I don't take too kindly to Dr. Realism sticking his 4K pocket monster in my $60 buddies. From time killer to fun killer, any instance where a fundamental object that I require can and will break puns oh. my bitch and moan kickstarter. Pledge now, and I will start kicking. Be it a cool weapon, a mandatory tool, fuck even armor, wear and tear, He's complete about Minecraft. Basic threads of the game. You can actually just craft those like ammo, 
<laughs> it's it's oh, literally so, so fucking to easy to craft shit. This like, particular like, mechanic, <laughs> and even though you can enchant stuff with unbreaking, broken. On one hand, it provides a strong sense of value towards your inventory and forcefully teaches you to stay resourceful. It's not just that; it's the fact that they're easy to make. Many more times, where spiked flail up the ass sounds more fun. I'll give Fire Emblem the pass. Literally just Minecraft. Minecraft is like. But the durability system there is like not even that big of a deal. Like it can be annoying, but it's it's it's, it's so easy to restock your items and enchant them so that they don't break. I don't know. Oh, you're having fun? Cool. Take a break. This is especially a it, yeah, exactly. It keeps the game going. Badass weapons galore. They're not gonna need your wooden pickaxe after you make a stone or an iron one. Might as well break it, right? Shattered. Gone. Just like my hopes and dreams. As much as I hate this, I at least understand why others don't. I can't yeah, in all exactly. sense rank this any higher. You're getting off easy here, you lucky fuck. It bears repeating. I hate when games try being realistic. Nobody here orders he, a petty spaghetti. He's going to complain about water physics again. I find that the further apart virtual us is from he's real coping. life us, the stronger the appeal. I'm already a plain ass fuck of a pasty meatbag. Why would I pay to get hammered down by nature's bullshit scented mitts anywhere else? Because I have to. The very idea of fall damage has always bothered me. What kind of necessity is filled by giving a fictional pair of feet the fortitude of a plastic sippy cup? Never spills my ass. Okay, that's kind of fair, I guess. Who gonna fix it? Huh? I may just pay them in given fucks. Oh yeah, sure. I don't really care though, like, what, what service does fall damage, like, serve? But, I mean, I, why does he care so much? If he doesn't like fall damage, why doesn't he just, like, not fall? Morph into a pancake? This is one of the stupidest hazards you could possibly go with. Enemies? Hell no. Lava? Uh-uh. No comprende. Explosives? You kidding? The ground. Now that's the hot ticket. I mean, sure, we all need something to fear, I guess. But there ain't no bitchier way to go than accidentally killing yourself. For games all about survival, I guess it's okay. But what's the deal with 3D platformers? I swear they have a... Okay, well, I guess that's fair, then. Not to kink shit or anything. Stuffed animals, jelly donuts, Bobble's mini fan art, fucking anything but crushed legs. Yes, it makes sense. There's logic to it. But every damn day, Bobble's mini fan art. <laughs> Not the kink shame or anything. I could jump off a real building if I wanted that same quality fun. Dumb shit like this is starting to tempt me, not gonna lie. Marco Polo fucking YOLO! Challenge is a beautiful thing, my friends. The voyage through adversity remains the purest right of triumph for all trailblazers. There's nothing more gratifying than tackling your goal at full speed. I'm gonna be the co op. It's late. And emerge victorious on the other end. A journey, man. Grueling. Epic. The best hours of my life! Where fun go? F is for fuck you, fix for your money. U is for unfair bullshit. N is for never ending pain and screams of rage down here in the deep darkness. Instant kills. You know, looking closer at this, I'd rather take on the fire and uranium. Bob, <laughs> anyone out there actually when he sees the lost. I'm genuinely curious. Bottomless pits, spikes, crushing walls. God forbid some motherfucking giant unkillable enemy. I'm a broken record. This is one of the sad truths all of us gotta live with. Life can randomly just end at any time. You come back from beyond the grave, look back and think, wow. 
That, that was stupid. stupid. Only, Only difference? difference? One's quick, quick and painless. painless. The, the other stings for all the hours. hours. Not, Not only is this shit a common drag and drop standard amongst game developers, it, it makes you feel, feel like you've been cheated. Jack Diddley Squiddy Swat can be done about it, and you could find any closer example of a shut off switch for fun. Being unable to fight this sucks, moldy nutsack. Just seems like a convenient way to piss off the players without much moldy nutsack. The game's challenge stems from this kind of crap. Hard may not be. This is definitely the kind of guy to complain about the game after dying. He definitely would complain about Isaac if he walked into a gamer. He would say the game was programmed badly if he walked into a gamer. All that art high above us is made by us. Mortals, as much as we try, and then we die. The choice questionable is never far behind. But that's fine. I care less about the who and the what, and more so the why. Yes, fucking why. <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't. What? You know that one thing Wait, what did that say? and ferments in the back of your- Beam Ammo Metroid Prime 2. It's literally just a singular you know game. One thing that rots and ferments in the back of your mind. It's just a single game. You have to wonder, is this a problem, or am I just full of shit? As Dick Hardening as Metroid's exploration is, the combat has its fair of stiffening prowess. Who doesn't like packing? He is actually just writing fanfiction right now. All over faces, only a mother sucks moldy nut sack. <laughs> But, leave it to the sequel of objectively the best in the series. Honestly, Moldy Nutsack just sounds like the worst fucking way to describe anything. Like that, 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 that just makes me cringe when I say it out loud. Moldy Nutsack is just, ugh. Like that sounds yucky. Criminally badass and unique, might I add. Be it dark. Anyway, yeah, he, he has a furry <laughs> Like FNAF reference. When I just said FNAF, holy shit. <laughs> I actually just said FNAF. new exciting toys like situational tools. Okay, Retro, I'll bite. May crack a tooth, but I trust you to have good reason. Hey, it's cool. Metroid fan here. Waiting's my crack. Death by overdose looms over. Cause you ain't getting no damn reason. This is actually starting to piss me off. Beam ammo is only there to take. You add nothing but aimless resource management onto an action adventure series loved for its weaponry. What were you honestly trying to achieve? More stuff to collect. It'll be fun. Suck my morph balls. Yeah. Funny how a titanic ass load of small annoyances in one lesser game is deafened <laughs> by just one annoyance in a favorite game. Seems this is a boat we're all in. Because is he going to complain about a singular title again? Is how we show that love. What is he doing? Prepare to sink. For this is the SS Rage. <laughs> Oh my god. All the fun in the world be for the most Rage Smash 4. Is he complaining about people getting angry at games? What does that mean? Is he complaining about gamer rage? When he's making a video that's just gamer rage? And I can't believe he can still walk. Grandpappy, the balance. I don't uh, know, I don't think it's a mechanic. Do it. And ranks are pretty much judged on difficulty. I won't be convinced. But, uh, there's always a but. Rage happened. While invisible to the casual eye, every character wears their own Lucario fursuit. Replicating the knockback growth for damage taken, found in aura. The deeper the scars, the harder the punch. This helps those who lack reliable kill moves or setups, a long ignored problem throughout the years. But that costs more than we realize. The tougher jobs got easier. 
awesome. But, but now, now the, the do nothing, nothing jobs border on royalty. Fuck this game. Moves with already high base knockback. Oh, I think he's complaining about how like insta kill. You so is what is he complaining about? to punish me for having the percent lead. Playing well now comes with the risk. Are you out, out of your mind? mind? The, the problems, problems that rage introduces. Actually, yeah, are true. Anti-competitive. Not only are there. Well, now why is he talking about deserve, Smash 4? Just play Ultimate. The annoying into the toxic. Fuck you, Cloud. Fuck you, Zero Suit. Fuck you, Luma. Fuck you, Mario. And the worst thing is how good this is for some characters. But if having it around means I can die at zero, maybe the rage should itself rage quit. Honestly, yeah, Ask he's yourself good. this. How much is too much? The coolest thing about our Waffles minion is, is, that, how is just that those answer. Answers turn out. Gamer A says, oh, live and let live, grumpykins. Lost Gamer B still such a cute dog. about Mario's nips. Me, personally, I can deal with lots of shit before feeling the need to roar. Physical pain, though? <laughs> Button matching. What did you know? I love this. Uh, All I ask is to be loved back. You wanna hurt me, you scathing tart? Take out your mitts then. Oh, that's evil. By simply requiring the need to turbo poke the god for sick yeah. buttons. Honestly, button mashing does kind of suck. This shit is selling the blame to your dumbass. All sales are final. Oh, don't look at me. You're the one ape shitting on the controller. Now the game's playing me. Soviet Russia's a bitch. Do I have to jackhammer this into your extra thick skull, developers? There is nothing fun about sending your arm to Camp Cramp. Why you feel the need to do Honestly, I want to see somebody design a game that's just everything Fawful's menu doesn't like. When the hyper-tolerant goes to the that pledges his heart and soul. Do I have to kill your family, developers? Is this the only way you can immerse your audience into the scene? Furiously woodpeckering one input? Thanks. Now I'm qualified to jerk off the flash. Not only does button mashing hurt, it's one of the most mindless choices in all game design. Unimpressive, unenjoyable, and unbelievable how common it became. True, not everything has to be deep and intricate, but give me a break. No pain, no gain. <laughs> Assholes. Actually, to be fair, nobody likes feeling powerless. Spam is kind of like shitty because, like, button mashing is kind of like shitty. Because of a specific game, not gonna lie, uh, where I I literally couldn't beat it until I got older because I couldn't button mash fast enough to kill the final boss. Where it eventually like forces you to button mash to like beat it. I couldn't I couldn't button mash fast enough. My favorite! I've never once heard someone sing the praises of the knockback anyway, mechanic. It's knockback. a ear rate flavored concoction of banshee like screams and salty swearing set to the Super Saiyan filter. It's amazing how something so simple can shred years off your life expectancy, but it does. This stupid ass little piston within the physics engine supplies the thrust. We appear Apparently really mean. Ain't no joyride complete without inescapable death in what's undoubtedly the cheapest approach in magnifying the difficulty. The primitive ploy of pushing the player away is not and never will be pleasant. Never does it is, touching honestly, I'm losing focus. I'm just so... They have to fucking force push your ass tired. like you just tackled Flubber often into other I do more too. punishing hazards. I'm, I'm fucking tired, I hate this. Gift wraps your pathetic little ass to both home image and instant death. All the while, you can't do shit about it. With the absolute worst of vendors taking it far enough to render the health bar irrelevant. Fuck. Mm, fuck. Fuck. 
When you stop to analyze this, it's hardly any different from the universally maligned stun mechanic. Removing your inputs as a factor is the douchebag way out. Yes, some games have it worse than others, but I can't believe how long it's lasted. Games still do this shit. Just let it die. You get good? It's easy to assume that our passion offers little to Alright, this is the number one spot, right? knows truly a part of it knows there to be a balance of power. The game, essence of all. The player, keeper of power. And the third, bringer of chaos. We know it, we live it, and we fucking hate it! RNG. Holy shit. Say skill always beats luck. Even Doc. He hates Isaac. He does. Our kind of Jesus is not our Lord. He is not our Savior. And we're the ones who die. Sins or no sins. The life to be fair, it is kind of shitty to make an entire game just be based on luck, but I don't know. Many will ever How many games actually do that? One of these numbers generate randomly, you will see true chaos at work. RNG, also known as random number generation, is the layman's term for random bullshit. If I need to enlighten any of you on why this shit is the eater of all sanity, there goes your gamer card, leaving anything in the unmerciful grip of Lady Luck. Sharks all player influence, in turn, rendering that controller as nothing but a dressed up lie. Hold up, I'm sorry, is my input nothing I mean, set 1020 mode in FNAF, all what? what? He tried to say Golden Freddy is RNG? He's literally not. Random crits, random 1020 mode is RNG, Golden Freddy isn't, like what does he have to do with it? Random fuck you. Random, I hate my life! With even the highest of skill and sweetest of karma. Dude, the entirety of FNAF, like, like FNAF 1, 2, 3, and maybe 4 are just RNG, like, what? Yeah, it is. Well, no. Like More than Isaac? Is I guess, yeah. And all those extra lives. Power doesn't belong in a single place. And for as much as it could suck, we couldn't have it any other way. This is being Fopple's minion. And <gasps> he has it! He has Isaac! <gasps> we meet again. <laughs> and he actually just. <laughs> Play that back! Play that shit back! Go back! Go back! <laughs> and all those extra lives, power doesn't belong in a single place. And for as much as it could suck, we couldn't have it any other way. This is me. A filter? Wait, let me see, let me see. Hold on, I can't see the fucking... The video has disappeared. Alright, hold on, I see. Uh... A filter? I don't see a filter. I don't... Where's the filter? He pl... Oh! Ew! What the fuck? Okay. Okay, so the thing is right at the door. That's what he's complaining about, right? Like, the the greed gaper is right at the door. Okay, yeah, that's fair. That's, like, the only... That... That's... That's fucking rude. That... Putting that there, that's rude. That... That's fucked up. <laughs> I don't... I don't... I don't blame him for, like, complaining about that. RNG is like Christmas. It's better to give than receive. Wait, want to know an annoyance about your channel? The fact you don't upload more, your content is great. 30, wait, let's look at what he had to say. I'm starting to take things more seriously now. Sorry, I'm going to put out a countdown every 10 to 15 days. <laughs> Did he ever do that? Like, it's been four years. Has he ever done that? No. <laughs> Wait.
when Mr. Minion uploads. Wait, he called him Mr. Minion? F is for fuck you. Thanks for your money. U is for unfair bullshit. N is for never ending pain. It's free to rage down here in the deep dark pit. Me just killed your computer. <laughs> His raw girth. His stomach acid. <laughs> medic and girl medic. Me literally snorts. Sexism. <laughs> Wait. Is it sex? I don't know. Anyway, it's official. Logan has a PhD. In literature, the mag, the mag, the magniloquence and poetic strings of language that are consistently present in each countdown deserve applause and to be eulogized. It's a mark of the effort put into all the major content for this channel. What the fuck? I am a simple man. When Mr. Minion uploads, I drop everything and watch. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Sit down. Fawful's minion has uploaded. Me. Sit down, kitties. It's story time. <laughs> what the <laughs> Sounds more fun. The fucking jump scare. <laughs> the fucking flea. Okay. Wait. I can't. I can't, I can't deal with another up, I can't, I can't watch another, I'm sorry, I, <laughs> oh, fuck this guy, uh, <laughs>